Welcome to FedScoop TV. I'm Wyatt Cash, and we're here at the Red Hat Government Symposium. And joining us today is Margaret Dawson. Uh, Margaret is the Vice President of uh, Portfolio Product Marketing for Red Hat, and we're really glad you could join us today. Thank you. Good to be here. Great. We're talking about all things open source, but in particular in government. And I'd like to ask initially, um, what benefits does open source technology provide federal government in this age when we're really trying to move towards IT modernization? Right. I think some of the benefits are the same regardless of any industry, right? And, and primarily it is about getting innovation in a faster way um, to any operation, right? So federal governments in general are not known always as moving fast and agile. And so by using open source and leveraging what comes out of open source communities, they can start to innovate much more quickly and be more agile. Mm -hmm. And by working with companies like Red Hat, they can do it in still a secure, stable, supported way. So it's a little bit of best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. um, but also I think the important thing is they can start to see what's happening in the community in general, right? They can start to collaborate with private industry, with developers all over the world, and start to see what people are doing with technology beyond kind of their, um, I don't want to say black box, but beyond their core yeah. environment and just kind of get in touch with people across industries. That's the great thing about open source communities. Mm -hmm. I know agencies hear that, uh, but can you yeah. take us maybe a level deeper as agencies look to um, adopt emerging technologies yeah. and other innovative technologies? How do you see open source actually helping them? So I think there's a few things. One is just they are often stuck in kind of this continuous modernization or continuous optimization right. kind of thing where they just need to cut a little more cost or they just need to get their mainframes working a little faster, right? And the problem is, is if they continue just down that path, they'll never get to where they need to be, which is delivering the digital native experiences that their right. constituencies want, right? right? We need to have mobile apps. We need everything to be online. We need to deliver things immediately. We're not going to sit on a phone anymore. Um, right. And so the experience that you're customers, so to speak, want, has completely changed. And so what open source allows them to do is start to look at these new technologies and deliver some of these digital native services faster while they're still trying to figure out how do I kind of move this, this elephant or this monolith mm -hmm. forward. And so it's not an either or. They can actually get some of that cost reduction and still do some of these new things that they're users want, including their internal users, by the way, mm -hmm. um, you know, while they're trying to figure out how do I continue to cut cost and modernize. Great. Uh, one of the themes we continue to hear more and more about is advances in container technology yeah. and how it's used. Tell us a little bit about um, how you see container technology driving innovation or, help, again, helping agencies do their jobs. Yeah. I think it's interesting. Containers are a bit like cloud. It's the squirrel of the day. So we yeah. need to be careful not to just think everything can go into containers. Uh, just like everything doesn't go to the cloud. They both enable innovation in different ways. And I think the thing that is great about containers is it allows a couple things. One is it allows you to look at a legacy application and potentially be able to move it to more modern infrastructure. Mm -hmm. um, and that's critical because uh, you know we have this huge technical debt, especially in the government. And so is there any way we can start to kind of move it towards the future, move it to more of a cloud-like environment, right? Which then allows us to update it more easily, keep it patched and secured more easily, all those different things. And then with new applications, containers are a really fast and easy way to develop new apps and developers want to use them. So that's the other key thing is mm -hmm. that it's not just about a great technology, it's the, the experience that developers want when they are building new applications. Mm -hmm. So there's benefits from a, a core IT perspective, there's benefits from developers, and then of course there's, there's the benefit from being able to do these things faster using containers. Makes a lot of sense. Lastly, um, cybersecurity continues to be the preeminent IT concern, and um, uh, I guess the question is, how can a industry help the federal agencies better understand the ways open source can help promote security? So it's interesting, kind of going back to your first question, one of the greatest benefits is security. If you think about it, if, if I'm building my own code base, right, maybe I have 10, 1,000 people that are trying to keep that secure, look for vulnerabilities, look at people being hacking my system. With open source, you literally have thousands, if not millions of people mm -hmm. all looking at that code. And so when you look at when there's a security vulnerability that happens in an open source community, the reaction from not just vendors that are involved, but individuals all working together mm -hmm. to keep the bad guys out is huge. So I would go back to, as they try to tackle these massive cybersecurity issues and being hacked uh, probably how many million times a second, right. you know, government systems are being hacked, 
If you had a community literally around the world that was all helping you do that, what would that power look like? And so it's a very different paradigm for government, though. It's saying, you know, letting people in into something where I am used to keeping all control. Mm -hmm. But the benefit in transparency and everybody being able to look at that code actually leads to greater security, not less. And actually makes a lot of sense. So, well, Margaret, thank you so much for thank taking you. time out of the conference to stop up and talk with us and yeah. just share a little bit more of your insights about open source and the federal government. Appreciate it. It's great to meet you. Great. Look for more of our coverage on uh, government innovation and open source technologies at fedscoop.com. I'm Wyatt Cash. Thanks for watching.